All right, you ready? Action. All right, Marcus. Okay. I want to make a short film. Of course. A short action film. Yeah. I want to shoot it at night time, outside, cool. with no power, and there's a complicated camera move that I want you to do that involves you possibly rotating the camera 360 degrees and then doing seven setups in one shot. Okay. That's the gist of it. <laughs> so nice and short. Like it's about two and a half minutes. Sounds good? Always. You in? Of course. <laughs> All right, sweet. Basically, I want to try with anyone that has shown in action films. Ideally, I'd like to get someone that shot like a big action film that knows what they're talking about. So, you know, fingers crossed, I'm, uh, I'm gonna make some calls. Oh. So what would you say about shooting a short fight scene? What advice would you give to someone trying to shoot something like that? Well, I'd hope that the stunt coordinator's right up there and with it and make your film in pre-production so that when it goes crazy on the set through weather or an actor suddenly is sick and can't make it and you swing over and do something else, your brain is already locked into what you talked about. And even if that doesn't work, your brain is clear that, you, you ca okay, we can't do that, go for that. So that, that pre-production, I've always found, is where the film's basically made. But you, you know what you want, and you, when it goes mad, you know how you can get back on track, but the pre-production's the most important. And then we're just, you know, here, ready to roll like three plus. So we we'll need a mark. Like the roll. And then like, yep. but obviously because you're a bit shorter than I, you probably end up like here. <laughs> like that, basically. Look, <laughs> the camera here, he hits the ground in line with this, then it's basically just like this, and then we can just guide you up. We can get that. Come on, it looks so good. See, that's what I'm trying to do, Marcus. So yeah, I want to get a professional coordinator involved to coordinate the fight scene, and a stuntman to fight in the fight scene up against one of our actors who we're going to have to train. I grew up as a dancer, and I grew up riding horses and motorbikes and that kind of thing. So. For me, I guess moving into the world of stunts was quite an easy progression after being a dancer and, and having that background. We'll have to work it out. Yep. No, I love tricking. And most of the idols I grew up watching became stuntmen. So they've been doing all your Marvel kind of movies. And so we were like, you know what, let's just become a stuntman. Yeah. I don't think people actually realise there's a lot of work that goes into what we actually do. There's a lot of mathematics that goes into designing certain stunts and that kind of thing. Um, so I think we are overlooked in that respect. We're just kind of seen as the, I to say, the larrikins. Concerned about keeping up with them? No, because I hope we're going to break it into parts. <laughs> so, you know, it wouldn't be too hard to keep up. Except for maybe that technical roll, then forward, back, get in there. But with practice, we'll be fine. Yes, good. And left. When 
to get in there. That should be perfect. And then, like, yeah, I'm happy with this. Okay. Feels good. Sweet, let's turn it off and then never touch the camera again. Yep. See, one shot, one A, take one. We all think we're directors. You know, cutting in from wide shot, medium close-ups, how, how should we handle it? So that the drama of that enables the editor to then cut it so that the mood and pace and tension is there. And I found over the years that I just went multiple cameras. Talking to editors, you find that their one complaint mostly was, I haven't got enough material. So I thought, well, damn it, we should give it to them. Cut. All right, let's reset y'all. And what's the best piece of advice anyone's ever given you? Stick with it. Stick with it. It's a long road to get there. Um, if you stick with it, other people believe that you want to do it and they'll stick by you and let you shoot, give you a go, because your commitment is total. And if you convince people of that, you're available, you do long hours, you do more than you're asked to do, and you, and you really show the enthusiasm and energy that, that you want to get on in, in that business, uh, they'll believe it and they will use you because of that. Just be calm and optimistic. Look forward, never look back. Alrighty, thank you very much, John. Thank you so much for your time. Perfect. Because we have 30 seconds. Yeah, yeah. I know. <laughs> I was like, oh.